Hey, it's the Terminian Hero here, and we're playing some more Ape Escape. We're heading back to Krabby Beach now that we have our new fancy Sky Flyer. And we're gonna get the three apes we didn't get. That we didn't get on our first run through. So, yeah, this place is... Let's go! What? That's why I still had one more monkey to get when I thought we were supposed to be done last time. I completely forgot to get this guy in the hammock. Well then. I remembered him while I was playing, but I guess I just forgot to actually go get him? Huh. But yeah, you see, the guy up here would have been super easy to get to with the Sky Flyer. We wouldn't have had to go through his little puzzle. But I wanted to show the little puzzle. So that's why we did it like that. This one's the one we can only get up to with the Sky Flyer. And then we've got a UFO for the last one. Which means we're getting our slingback shooter out. I don't really see much of a use for the flashing ammo, so we're probably never going to use that outside of that tutorial. But the guided pellets are pretty good. Yes! Anyways... You did it! Thank you, Misty Slash Natalie. What does... What is the name of the level? What does Coral Cave have to offer for us? Let's... Let's check that out. We know one of the... We actually know two of the monkeys we can get. Now that we have the Sky Flyer, we can get to the one up on the ledge right there that we can see. We just have to go swimming first. And we're too deep for the sharks to reach us. Because, you know, that's how sharks work. So as you can see, we could not make this jump without the Sky Flyer. Hence why we had to come back. Now, we do know about one other monkey, and we could go straight up to him, right up there with our Sky Flyer. But that's not how we're supposed to reach him. So, we'll do it the normal way. I do have all the Spectre Coins, right? Yes, I do. There was only one, and it was below those waterfalls we just went past. Oh, using the Sky Flyer in a level of where I wasn't supposed to have it yet. Anyways. Got this monkey, and now we just need to go to that one we saw before. Yeah, yeah, monkeys in red pants are strong attackers. We know this already. Let's just hit this target, which I'm pretty sure we could also probably hit with the Slingback Shooter. If you want to know how to get up here... What? Did I just go in that thing? Yeah, without the Sky Flyer, you can climb up this pole that you knocked down. Pretty sure I just went inside that block, and it was a bit odd. But now we're back around to that red monkey that we saw. Come on, now. 
There we go. Yes! Heading on to a new level now. We are going to Frosty... Wait, no. I was gonna say Frosty Retreat Hot Springs, but no. That's not how it works. We're going to New Friesland Hot Springs. And we should actually be able to get all the monkeys here. So, for convenience sake... I'm gonna try to climb this level right away first, and save the stuff for down below for later. Let's go! That way we'll only have to climb this place once. We won't have to climb it on a return trip to this level. Bridge made of ice, have to get over it as quickly as you can. Which might suggest that we should use the super hoop, but I don't actually think the super hoop is fast enough. Plus you got those spike balls in the way. So just hop across it and use the sky flyer at the end. I think there might be a bit of a delay to when you can jump again when you finish using the sky flyer. I'm not sure if that's true or not. But I know the sky flyer has given me a bit of trouble before, so just don't use the sky flyer until you think you can make it across, or until you absolutely have to use it. So I just realized we haven't actually picked up an extra life yet, aside from by getting a hundred energy chips. Well, we're about to find an extra life. They're actually jackets. Or actually, I think they're just shirts in this first game. Oh no! Okay, well I didn't fall all the way back down. So that's fine. Yeah, that waterfall has a really strong current. And I could have fought the waterfall if I would have got to the surface of the water and then used my sky flyer again, but I failed at that. Because the thing is, you just don't want to mess with these ice bridges. They just fall apart as you go across them. So I really want to do it this way. And we can get our little life shirt and get across. Now we're on to the hot springs. So there should be a little monkey behind a little waterfall here. Got him. We saw another monkey over here. There should be at least one more monkey here, as well as a specter coin. Got him. Good. There's also a life that's kind of hard to get here. What wonderful hot springs. I'd love to relax there. According to the scanner, the hot springs contain smooth minerals. Maybe we can come back sometime and relax in them. And by sometime, you mean the Ice Age, right? Get it? It's time travel. Anyways, we got these little snowy pillars that we can use to try to aid us in getting up to this life on this super slippery roof. And I got it! First try! Wow! 
That was way better than I usually do at getting that life. That's pretty amazing. Alright, monkey radar time. I don't want to risk missing one here. Nope. We got them all here. It's all good. Yeah! So now, let's head down that waterfall. Because that's the safest thing to do. But of course, just go under the waterfall. And there's a monkey, because there's always stuff behind the waterfall. This one was just through an underwater cave at the bottom of the waterfall, rather than directly behind it. But we did already catch a monkey behind a, a waterfall up in the hot springs. So we could go back to this level, but first... We got Natalie. You did great! But we also have... After every two worlds... I've been waiting for this for a long time. This is just between you and me. Follow me. Got a face off with Jake. This race is a little Let's more go. tricky than last time. We got to use our Sky Flyer. I don't know how Jake got one. Come on, Professor, you traitor. Or maybe Spectre just got one through either thievery or time travel. So this is one part that's a bit tricky, because that's a really thin platform. With a spike ball going across it, but we did it no problem. We got some lava down here. Just don't even bother using your sky flyer here, it's faster if you don't. You wanna fly up onto these moving platforms. And just fly to the end here. That worked out very well for us. Yes. I'll go up against you anytime you want. Alright, so now that we've done that, we can actually go back to Hot Springs. And get the last few monkeys we missed. I think we missed like three. Yeah, that one was Gladiator Attack, as we saw. It's a pretty cool map screen. I really like the map screens that really show that it's a cube. Like the ones with liquid or the ones like this. They're just really cool. But yeah, hot springs. Gotta get the last three monkeys and last specter coin. And in order to do that, we're gonna have to go into a bit of a dangerous place. Let's go! But not before getting a really easy to get monkey right here out in the open at the start. And there's a cookie jar. Just in case that super easy monkey is too hard for you. No, the cookie jar is there just in case you keep falling when trying to climb up to the hot springs and you're taking a bunch of fall damage. Anyways, the passageway is blocked by an ice column. It seems like it'll break if you launch something heavy and smash it. So yeah, we got polar bears here. And we are awakening the beast. And... I forgot how this worked. Okay. What we want to do is hit the polar bear across the ice. That's 
not the way I wanted to hit him. Gonna smash them into those ice columns. And after two hits, they will break. So over this way, we got a cookie jar. It only popped out one cookie. And then it wasn't working, it's still only popping. What's wrong with this cookie jar? There we go. That was weird. Now we got another polar bear. And just pretty much rinse and repeat. Pretty simple. Just make sure that you actually have good aim. And the polar bears will clear the way. Got a wife, ran into a monkey, caught him, all that. Pretty unintentional. So, we opened up a pathway back to the entrance of this cave, but we still can't go this way where there's a Spectre Coin and. I know there's another monkey in there. Wherever he is. Yeah. There he is kind of hard to see because of the camera angle and that bar in the way, but he's there. I could see him a little bit. And one final polar bear to knock down one final set of ice columns. And before we catch the monkey, we want to get the Spectre Coin, and this button just opens up the pathway back. Gotcha. Yes! So yeah, that's that. Uh, we are all done with New Friesland. I'm pretty sure we got all three... Yeah, we got all three levels 100% complete. So... In the next episode... Oh right, I can skip past Natalie. In the next episode... We will be going to a new time period. We will be going to... Medieval Mayhem. Specifically the level Sushi Temple. Yeah, Medieval Mayhem seems to be... Some sort of Chinese, Japanese area. Is China known for sushi? I know Japan is, but the second level is based on the Great Wall of China, so... I don't know what to... Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, we will be going on to Sushi Temple next time. I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you then.